So, you have a new show for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we make a Scooby-Doo show, but adult animation style. Adult animation style? Do you mean like... Like one of those websites that I've definitely never clicked on? Because I don't think we could be making that. No, 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 no. More like an animated TV show, but for grown-ups. <laughs> okay, I thought you were pitching me some kind of weird pervy thing. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. So the show starts with a bunch of high school girls showering. Oh, my God. Yeah, and just the bits are covered up. This is a lot for a while. What is going on? It's a Scooby-Doo show, sir. Right, and how does an adorable Great Dane fit in with what you just described? What? The, d the dog, Scooby-Doo. Oh, the dog. Dog's not in the show, sir. Scooby-Doo isn't in the Scooby-Doo show? Nah, and the show's actually gonna follow Velma Dinkley as the main character. Okay, and so is this like a comedy? Oh, you know it, sir. We got tons of jokes in this bad boy. Oh boy, what kind of jokes are we talking? Well, for example, Velma will be like, hey, if this were a rom-com, something like this would happen right now. Okay. You know, that's one joke. Uh, sorry, what was the joke? Well, just showing that you're aware that pop culture exists is very meta and funny and therefore counts. Does it? It does, yeah. So that is most of what we're going to be doing here. Oh, okay. We'll also make fun of adults that watch animation, so that'll be funny. Isn't that our target audience? Oh, yeah. Well, screw them. Oh, making fun of your target audience in a meta way is tight. Get off of YouTube, you losers. I'm sorry, I take that back immediately. I don't like how that felt, and I love you guys. I appreciate that you watch these videos. Oh, oh sir, you can't be meta and wholesome. You gotta be meta and cynical. What are you doing? Oh, my bad. So what's going on with the rest of the gang since Scooby-Doo's not in it? Oh, well, sir, they're the same old gang that the fan base knows and loves. Sick. Except, you know, completely different in almost every way. What? Well, first of all, we're gonna change the race of all the characters. Well, I mean, that's fine. In this day and age, the race of a character shouldn't really affect things. Right, exactly. And then we'll just make a bunch of comments about everyone's race all the time. Well... Also, most of the gang aren't really friends at all. Oh, they're not. No, they mostly hate each other, but they're all in love with Velma. Is she, like, super great or something? Yes, yeah, she is. She's really mean and condescending with everybody. Oh. And snarky and selfish and sarcastic and a know-it-all. This, uh, this doesn't sound like a character the audience is really gonna connect with. Oh, they will. You sure? Yeah, because she's the main character so they don't have a choice. Is that how that works? It might be. Yeah. Huh. So anyway, now Daphne is a mean girl drug dealer. Shaggy goes by Norville and is nothing like Shaggy. And Fred is an ignorant rich guy with a tiny wiener. With a tiny wiener? Yeah, his wiener is tiny, which is something we're going to keep mentioning because that's one of the recurring jokes. What's the joke? His wiener is small. That's, uh, is that a joke or is that just saying something? Yeah, that counts. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, in what way are these characters at all related to the originals? Well, see, clothing. And almost all their names. Why not just make a completely original show then? Well, because every project needs to be wrapped in some kind of pre-established intellectual property so it's less of a scary investment for you, baby. Aw, baby. That's a good point. Yeah, okay. So what's going on in this thing? What's the story? Well, Velma's trying to find out what happened to her mom who disappeared without a trace a number of years ago. Okay. And Daphne's trying to find out what happened to her parents who disappeared without a trace a number of years ago. That's... The same thing. Yeah, but I really think people are gonna look at these mean and unlikable characters we've practically created out of thin air and think, hey, what's the deal with their parents? You think that'll be interesting for people? You think people are gonna wanna know that? Uh huh, yeah, sure, maybe. And also, there's a killer on the loose. Oh no. Yeah, someone's cutting girls' brains out of their heads. Wow, so is there a van that they're gonna drive around in trying to solve the mystery? There is a van eventually, yeah, but they're gonna make fun of it and how stupid it would be if they went around solving mysteries in that thing. Uh huh, uh huh. Just really dumping on the source material, huh? A lot, yeah, because Scooby Doo's kind of a silly concept if you think about it, so it's gonna be fun to make fun of that constantly. So we're gonna make fun of adults that watch animated shows, so this show's not really for them. Yeah. We're completely changing the original characters and not having Scooby-Doo in it, and also mocking the original show itself, so it's not really for fans of Scooby-Doo. Correct, yeah. So, 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 so who's this show for? Well, I'll tell you, sir. Me? Right. Okay. Well, it sounds like it might be hard to get people that aren't you to watch this thing. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, have you heard of some Something called hate watching. Hate watching? Would that work? Hi everybody, it's Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and then go to the YouTube search bar and write otters holding hands. Because that's a thing that otters do. They apparently when they float, they hold hands so that they don't separate. You could you can watch more pitch meetings later, but you're gonna wanna check out some otters. Alright, bye.